Hey guys, I just come out to the farm to visit my truck, my dad's truck and mine. The brown Ford. Uh, I tightened up the transmission pan because it was leaking. When somebody changed it, it wasn't right. And look, all it needed to be is tighten. How hard was that? And persons could tighten them, they hand tighten them. All you have to do is get a frickin' wrench and tighten them. Not that goddamn hard. Okay, but anyway, I got that out of my system. I was just doing that for fun. Yeah, not gonna start her today. Uh, just because it's a little chillier today, and plus I don't want to ruin it. Um, my dad's over screwing around again. Uh, the reason why I uh, parked it inside is, well, bird's crap on it too, but the reason why I parked it inside is, is because in the winter time, I got something to work on it and everybody's been commenting on the video saying, yeah, fix her up. Yeah, we're going to eventually. Uh, it won't be right away next year. Um, but yeah, she still is worth fixing and I've had a lot of people say it's injectors. Well, I sure wish it wasn't because they're, well, they're, they're not new injectors. I don't know what they call that, replace, refurbished, whatever injectors. And I don't know, they weren't pressure checked when they were put in, they were just put in. So I don't know if that has to be done or not. I bet that's probably, uh, I don't know if refurbished injectors can be bad when you get them from the store or not. Um, Cause it never smoked that bad in my previous videos. If you watch back in 2014, I made videos. It wouldn't start too good, but it wouldn't smoke that bad and run rough. Uh, Till we put them injectors in there. So I don't know. Um, I've had a lot of nice people on there, friendly people, uh, say that it's my injectors. And no, it does not burn oil. Uh, injection pump has not been really touched, so it could be that too. Um, probably there's a little screen in there, somebody said that gets rust or rusty, and then, then also the mechanical fuel pump should be replaced. A seal goes out in there. That has not been touched as far as I know. Uh, my dad claims there's been other things done to it. I don't remember what he said. There was like... Uh, I think he said he did something with the fuel. So maybe the injection pump, you replaced it. I don't remember what he said he did to it, but uh, we have done maintenance to it. It's not lack of maintenance. It's just, we don't really technically need it, you know? And diesel is like really expensive to fix here. Parts used to be really cheap back a long time ago. We, uh, my dad used to have a 84 Chevy and used to be like really cheap to get parts for that. And then parts for this thing versus a 93, well, yeah, I think it'd be a little cheaper though because it's old, but <laughs> it's about $800 for injectors. Uh, I'm not kidding for eight of them for the core charge and everything. So, like I said, it's just it's crazy. Um, that's, you know, is it worth fixing it all up? Yeah, it is. It's not rusted out, but it's going to take some money to get her fixed up, of course. The windshield, like I said, is mm, <laughs> he's replaced. Um, battery's disconnected, so uh, it won't catch on fire. I'm not going to start it because it's so hard on the starter to start it with one battery, and plus I don't want to wreck the starter because then we'd have to spend $250 or whatever to get a new or a rebuilt starter, and I don't want to do that because then it takes money out of our pockets and stuff. So I just drove it inside and should have brushed the lease off of there. That really irritated me. I forgot about that that day. I was too busy filming and scared that the thing was going to stall on me. And then it actually did stall on me. I didn't record it. But when I backed up on over this hump here, I'll show you. Uh, I don't know. It just, I stepped on it and it stalled on me. And uh, she didn't want to start too good again. Uh, this little hump here. Got that back tires up and I got the front tires just sat there and I floored it and it made this black mark here see and then it stalled on me and then I put it in park and she was just you know struggling to start you know with one battery she's was going like that and then it finally fired up and she blew a bunch of black smoke out but not blue smoke and I put it reverse again and I stepped her down and didn't stall so I don't know what the deal was why it stalled the first time um I don't see any fuel leaking, but I do notice this, and I'm going to cut the video and I'm going to show you. It's been sitting here and it has been touched. Let's see if it does it. This uh, fuel filter has air in it. Listen here. 
I hope the microphone picked it up. That's just sitting there. I pressed the bleeder thing. Listen again. No air in it now. But it's got air in there. Now something tells me that something's leaking, causing air to get in there to make it run rough too, because it's hard to start when it's cold and it runs rough. So I'm thinking, would the air cause it to smoke that bad and run rough too? So I don't understand. You know, I'm not really into diesels, but let's try it again here. There's no air in there now. He's making fucking noise over there again. Nope. Um, I could hook the battery up and we could try starting it, but like I said, it's just gonna smoke this whole darn place out. And you've seen how it runs. Um, I could hook it up, I guess, but I don't know. I don't really like the care to do that. Um, I might have to flip it the other way around here. I set the camera down here. Well, negative wire isn't on there, right? Let's hope we don't have a whatever ground problem, but I really hate to mess with it. But you guys always want it. I'm going to start here. Let's uh, see if there's air in the lines now. Is there any smoke here? Nope, don't smell any diesel. She fired once. Let's look at it again here, make sure the ends aren't hot. Okay. Let's see here. Listen. Oh, see, diesel come out and there's air in there now. So, let me know, guys. Diesel come out now and there's air. There's air coming out. Let's try it again there. There's diesel coming out and there's air. Diesel smells icky, ugh. Let's try it again. There must be uh, there must be air too in there. I'm gonna wait to start again anyway because it's been sitting for a while again. And that's what it'll do once it's got air in the lines. Yep, there's air in the lines again. That could be the problem the whole entire time. Let's try it again here. Now let's start. There's air in the lines. Is that why it won't, is this why it runs terrible? What's causing air in the lines, guys? What's causing air in the lines? I'd like to know, I really would like to know. There's no smoke coming out, or I can't smell anything as far as I know. You piece of junk. Throttle down. There's a throttle. I want to start now. And there's air coming out of the fuel filter. Oh, there's smoke coming out now. I'm burnt fuel. No burnt fuel. There's no air now. So I go to gold plugs again. 
and I gotta step on the gas because I guess it doesn't want to start. <sighs> gonna hurry up because my video's gonna end here. I'm gonna put it to the floor here because otherwise it's not gonna start. air in the lines. Water pumps out. We gotta shut it off. Well, maybe that's all it is, guys. It's got air in it. Let's try it again here. Yep, there's air in there again. If you heard that or not. Much of fuel and air bubbles come out. All right, well, let me know, guys, if that's what is causing the air? Maybe that's the problem. I don't know. Uh, it runs so rough, and diesels don't like air in the lines. What would be causing that? Because the water separator's off of there. It's not even on there anymore. Um, let's watch it again here. There's air in there. It's leaking back down. Ha, okay, well, maybe it's something else. Let me know, guys, in the comments below. I'm gonna disconnect the battery before we have a fire. And until next time, let me know in the comments below what you think it is. Now I got a new theory, air in the lines.